Cross-border payments is the backbone of the global economy. We are moving into an interconnected world where everything is real-time. So it's important to have just-in-time, instant payments. But that's not it. It's also important to have transparency, efficiency, frictionless and convenient payments. After all, are you transforming to become a faster caterpillar or are you transforming to become a butterfly? Credit confirmation is important for customers. At the end of the day, it's an important job to be done for them to know and get surety that the payment has reached the beneficiary. GPI has been a journey and we've, trans and we've transformed across various milestones. Uh, the important milestone last year was the universal GPI, whereby all banks transmit the UTR to the subsequent bank. Now, the next big milestone is really in terms of the true credit confirmation because that gives comfort to the remitter to know for a fact that the funds have reached the penny. GPI has an exciting roadmap ahead. There are a huge number of possibilities on what else, what else can be done. The community together is now determining and filtering the noise from the insides and then determining what really to move towards together. The one which is most exciting for us BBS right now is the incoming payments visibility. That's actually solving one of the big friction areas because at the end of the day, what matters most, whether it's a small and medium enterprise or a large corporate or an FI, is incoming funds. That facilitates their working capital management, that facilitates their cash flow forecasting, and at the end of the day, that's the lifeblood for any, any corporate. To make cross-border payments transformative, the banking community is key. After all, the network effect is what truly derives exponential change. We stand now in 2019, that's at the cusp between two decades. The decade we just went by, it's important for us to retrospect and to look at what we did well, what was the pace of transformation, what truly helped customers in solving their business problems. It's equally important for us to decide as we go into the new decade on what is it we want to leave behind and what is it we want to do more of. In effect, it's the time for us to determine the strategic blueprint for the coming decade. After all, there are three kinds of people. Those who watch things happen, those who wonder what happened, and the third, which is the most important, are those who make things happen. Which side do you want to be on?